In my group, we are interested in studying how biomolecules move at the nanoscale. I'm Sonja Schmid. I'm since 2024 an assistant professor in physical chemistry here at the Department of Chemistry of the University of Basel. And I'm also a member of the Swiss Nanoscience Institute. My group and I are interested in studying how biomolecules move at the nanoscale. For this, we develop specific techniques and you can compare it a little bit with a historic example, namely the horse gallop. People could only understand horse gallop once motion pictures were developed, because they needed to record a running horse in real time. At the nanoscale, it's not so much different. We would also like to record movies of a given protein molecule and how it works. But of course, there are no movies that can capture that. So the best we can do is try to detect as many different states as possible in that molecule and record them over time. And this tells us a lot about how that molecule works, what energies are involved, etc. To obtain such single molecule observations, we use mainly two techniques. One is an optical fluorescence-based technique called single molecule FRET, and the other one is an electrically detected technique where we use nanopores to record single molecules. These techniques allow us to resolve the movements, we call them the dynamics of a single molecule. Ultimately, with my lab, I hope to provide new technologies and insights to inform the development of biomedical therapies. Really, from the first day that I did such experiments, I was extremely fascinated that we have the ability to observe a single molecule, a single biomolecule in this case, and also how it moves, that we can really see that in the experiment. And now, with my group, it's of course even cooler because we can do that in a team and I can see how they learn, how they grow, how they get results. Uh, and that's absolutely fantastic for me. I studied nanosciences at the University of Basel and then left Switzerland for 15 years. First, because I moved to Munich to do a PhD at the Technical University of Munich and then with a stopover at the University of Freiburg. I moved on to the Netherlands, where I did my postdoc at the Technical University of Delft and then later got my first independent position at Wageningen University. And now I'm happy to be back at the University of Basel. If you're interested in a career in natural sciences, I think it's extremely important to figure out what fascinates you most. And to do that, it's very helpful to talk to people talk to uh, older students, PhD, postdocs, also professors. You may be surprised how much they like to tell you about what fascinated them most and how they found their specific topic.